happy. Please, don't let them return back to violence. We as leaders, we have tried our best to convince this boy to stay away from violence. Let Wari give us the needed support to maintain that peace. Because there is no way you will trick these boys and take arms and ammunition from them, thinking that you have maintained peace. A criminal is still a criminal until he's empowered. You have deceived these boys and take their arms. They are not yet empowered, they are not yet trained. An idle man is a devil's workshop. Let's reintegrate these boys back to the program so that they can have life and live a better life so that Nigeria can be a better place for everyone. We should embrace this peaceful protest. President Mohamed Buhari, interim administrator of the President Amnesty Program, they should embrace this agitation and do the needful so that these boys will not be frustrated back to the creek. We are tired of pipeline bossing. We are tired of pipeline bossing. We are tired of crisis in the Niger Delta. They should stop pushing us to crisis. Yes. Peace is what we want. Yes. Peace is what we stand for. Yes. And peace is what we are going to maintain. Yes. Am I happy? Yes. Am I happy? Yes. Great Niger Delta. Yes. Great Niger Delta. Yes. Great Niger Delta. Yes. I am who beg President Muhammad Dubari making assistance. Everybody, who yes. beg President Muhammad Dubari to assist us. We are here because of sideline of the government. They sideline a greater number of the phase three of the presidential amnesty program. And we have been in this town since 2019 to date asking for our rights. In the year 2011, we decided to join and embrace the presidential amnesty program. After the disarmament in 2011, we were accredited into the program in 2013. When the accreditation program was ongoing, we asked them about the inclusion of our boys into the program. Because there is no way we will drop up to 50 arms and we will be given just one chance to accommodate our foot soldiers. Now the people will canvass to collect arms and ammunition to maintain peace in the Ninja Delta and Nigeria at large are on us right now because the government has sidelined them from the program. After the disarmament program, they were supposed to be included in the program for reintegration. And what is surprising us, we the third phase of the S-Agitator, who are they reintegrating in the presidential amnesty program? When our foot soldiers are still outside the program, are they going to train me as a leader and tell my foot soldiers to go to hell? Now, the boys are asking that we return back their arms or include them in the program in one way or the other. That is why we are in Abuja since 2013 agitating because there is no way we can go back to our house, to our family, without this lot given to these boys. We have been threatened, not once, not twice. So we ran here to Abuja to tell the government of the Federation this is what we are passing. As leaders who have wholeheartedly embraced peace for the development of the Niger Delta and Nigeria at large. Now the boys are saying that we should return back their arms or the government include them in the third phase of the presidential amnesty program. Now we cannot return back home until these demands are met. We are here agitating for uncommon transformation. It is a day-to-day -day exercise until the office gives us the needed attention and resolve this matter once and for all. We are also pleading to President Muhammad Dubwari because he don't try, make it still try more. Make it help, may they absorb the third phase food soldiers where they outside this program. A good make us speak broken, join now because the matter tires us. The matter not tires us. He tire God. No. He tire God. No. President Muhammad Dubari must act fast. Yes. President Muhammad Dubari should act fast yes. because the boys there at home are not happy. They are not happy. <laughs>